The Legacy of Hope. A Great Venture by Bonaventure. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Arise, Kali faithful, rejoice and renew. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I welcome you to day 23 of our Lenten Bonaventure Challenge. I'm here to reflect with you on the theme, customs, laws, and blessings of parents are important. Dear brothers and sisters, laws are rules and regulations established by a governing authority to enforce justice, to maintain order, and the well-being of the people living in a specified place. Customs are traditional practices, rituals, or regulations that a people living in a specified area have accepted as part of them. The blessings are expressions of divine favor, of well wishes that one makes on behalf of another, praying that God's favor will come and rest on that person. As we reflect on the journey of Tobias and the angel Raphael, they enter into the home of Rigor to retrieve the money belonging to Tobit, Tobias' father. In the house, Tobias and the angel Raphael who use the laid down customs and rules of the elders of the land to ask for the hand of Sarah, the daughter of Rigor. Dear brothers and sisters, they did not just take the girl, but they used that which was laid down, the customs and the rules. Dear people of God, some of us just take things. Whatever our eyes see, the hand must possess. So we align ourselves to the philosophical teaching of Trasimachus, who says, Mind is right. As far as I'm stronger than you, that which legitimately belongs to you, I must possess. This we must not do. In this season of Lent, we must allow the law to work. If the law does not work, then what society will see is confusion, a total breakdown of eleven. Total pandemonium is what will come upon us. But when we allow the law to work, then peace, justice, harmony, is what we will all experience. Now, as Azarias and Tobias asked for the hand of Sarah, Rigwell knew what the problem was with his daughter. So he extends his hand and blesses Sarah and blesses Tobias, knowing that the night will bring calamity. Dear people of God, in trying to obey the rules and regulations, sometimes we fall short. But that which will help us to be able to obey them is the grace and the blessings of God. And this is what Rigor will do for Tobias and for Sarah. As parents, every single day of our lives, we should be extending a hand of blessings upon our children. Be a pregnant woman. Already, you can begin to bless the baby forming in your womb. Remember, Luke chapter 1 verse 48. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. This you have to do. At the hospital, when the baby comes out, offer words of blessings upon him or upon her. As a new father, offer words of blessings upon your child. Dear people, all we have to do is to wish our little ones the best. Before they leave for school, call your child. Place your hand upon him or upon her and wish her the very best as she or she leaves for school. As they are about to marry, offer blessings upon your son, upon your daughter, that the journey of marriage will be successful. And as things are not going on well in their marriage and in their work, also call them and offer blessings upon them. We must know that blessings are free. They have no price tax. So why are we keeping our paternal and our maternal blessings to ourselves when our children are in dire need of it? Bless your child today. Bless the people around you today. Remember, your blessing is that key that will unlock the gates to success and happiness in the life of your children. Rigor blessed 
Tobias and Seba, and the deep brew for them, and they were alive. May your blessing bring your children through the darkness of sin into a region of great light. May the Lord bless and keep us always. Amen. Today, for our assignment, hold your children. Bless them before they go out. And if your children are not with you, a simple phone call can do. Be an instrument of blessing to the little ones around us. Have a very blessed day.